Welcome to my Wings of Liberty ladder games, where compared to all the cheesers and one base all-ins, we're not exactly that cheesy. Now the reason I say that is because my fo my playstyle is more along the lines of macroing, getting a fast expand. For Terran, for example, I like to get a 15 uh, 15 expand without any get without getting any gas. The reason I like that is because in late game. There's a lot more units on the field, which means the value of each unit decreases. And the game minerals. allows you to focus more in terms of macro, deciding your unit composition and basically the strategic part of StarCraft, as Not opposed to just minerals. microing your units back and forth and just being retarded. And uh, apparently a lot of people don't share that. Especially Blizzard, the developers, who apparently haven't des decided that they haven't shat on Heart of the Swarm enough and is deciding to shit on Legacy of the Void even more. Now Terran vs Terran has always been a shitty matchup, as far as I can remember, and by that I mean approximately after Heart of the Swarm came out. I feel like sometimes around that time, people decided that the Destiny Cloud Fist was the best build, so people started doing that bullshit as opposed to the Gasses Expand followed by Marine Tank compositions. I don't exactly understand why they do that. Do they actually win more games, or...? What, ha what happens when the Destiny Cloud Fist clashes with the Destiny Cloud Fist? I feel like it just becomes a micro war and is really obnoxious. So I don't want to learn how to. I don't want to learn how to build it. I don't want to learn how to play in that style. I will stick to my own, and I feel like I'm beginning to learn how to hold off the Destiny Cloud Fist. At least when I used to play, but then I took a long break, so I don't really know how that happens. Now theoretically. How to hold out the Destiny Cloud Fist is to not get the gas first, to get the barracks first, and to bring out lots of marines. You're trying to push the, the economic advantage you have by getting lots of expansions and workers, and you're trying to use that to bring down his expansions, or bring, bring out his unit count. Now the reason that works is you can't really expect him to, you can't really expect a good player to, you know, m mess up. So their tank is going to be done before your tech is done. Your, your siege tech. So your siege tech is always going to be behind and you can't rely on that. And if you can actually bring a unit count down, you should be able to get your tanks in a good position. And it seems like a lot of platinum level players are just, just little, little turrs like this. Try to uh, harass your SEV. And it seems like that's just like the first thing they learn now. The first thing you learn is how to cheese and the second is how to be a douchebag. Which is... I can't even say it's wrong anymore. It really isn't. Alright, so I can't really see what he's doing. It is very hard to scout a Terran. Oh, shot that guy up. So that's a little bit of victory for us, since I feel like a Platinum level player only knows how to do that trash. Doesn't actually know how to play the game. Now, one base can actually mean a lot of things. The good thing about Terran is they can't really do any War Prism bullshit. So this bunker should be able to hold a lot of frontal attack, at least until medevacs come out. Okay, so at this point I did get my barracks first. Not really intentionally, it's still preparing for the Destiny Cloud Fist. I will put the Marine here to you know, protect my base, or to gain some vision so I can get a heads up when they actually move out. I feel like that's actually important in holding off a Destiny Cloud Fist. What I really want to know is basically what he's doing at this point. I feel like scanning a little bit later might be a good idea. Uh, we don't want that. We want this. You know what? Scanning at 6 minutes is a good idea. So we'll use a mule here. And this looks like two marines at a tower. Um. We won't need that. What's going on? So right now what we need is probably factory. Roger. Upgrade Looks like quite a heavy unit Boy, count from him. So if he brings two marines, uh, we're gonna bring four. So we're gonna wreck, wreck his shit. We shall see what he has. He has a factory and he has one gas. And from that I can predict that he's not going for any kind of tech build. He's probably just trying to expand off of this. Potentially with a reaper. So I'm going to go for my standard marine tank composition because I like that. can't believe he actually... Oh, there's two there. Okay. That makes more sense. We'll keep the three guys with guns there. So now we kind of know what he did, so it's a little bit easier to handle. 
13, 14, 15, 16. That's the uh, worker count in the main. Can still build a little bit more before I decide to do something else. Or decide to rally, rally my worker somewhere else. So 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we should rally to the natural expansion. 38, Depot are still coming. Uh, we're still making more marines, which is nice. Alright, so my main composition this game is going to be marine tank, because I feel like marine marauder just doesn't cut it. Now later on I will start adding on tech labs and start producing marauders because marauders deal a lot of damage to buildings and they have the ability to tear down a planetary fortress and other sort of stuff. And I feel like even though I hate that style, sometimes the harassment is absolutely necessary in order to secure your wins. Especially in late game when you can just run in and smash it and leave. I know I call people douchebags for doing that but I feel like sometimes it, re it is kind of required to be a douchebag yourself in order to... You know, get some wins. Unless you want to stay in Platinum League. Now, nothing wrong with staying in Platinum League for right? people in Platinum League. It's just a little bit frustrating. I demand more wins! Yeah, that's, that's kind of depressing. I got those for now. Oh, shit. Oh, that ended poorly for him. What did he kill? He killed like four SCVs. What did he fucking do? So it looks like he's going for a more mech centric composition. He's gonna know that a drop is coming. And I feel like... What can we do about that? Our stim pack is still not done. Transfer some workers back. The ones that he killed. Yep, he killed exactly four workers with four Hellions. I feel like that's not an efficient exchange. Ready for pickup? So we're gonna do this drop right now and see what we can do with it. And we're also going to add on three more barracks. Actually, we'll add on two barracks and a factory, because we're not going for pure biocomposition like we do against Protoss. Let's probably number this two. Not enough minerals. Additional supply Six, Seven. Yes, yes, we know we need depots. Where's the emergency? Alright, he's gonna be in position to defend this drop, but he already wasted enough resources on the Hellions. Although I don't feel like Oh shit, that's a lot of resources wasted on turrets. Although that does mean he's safe against any kind of attack here. And he does have that siege tank. Research. So he's going to be safe against garbage. On my way. I'll still try to garbage though, because I feel like we need that. Uh, what did I make here? We don't want that. No, 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 no. Do not make Hellions. Hellions are, are not... Well, they kind of are trash, but... You know what I mean. Uh, do we have armory? No, we don't. Let's see how's that working. Drop almost done. Very nice. Uh, we need to number that. The turret. This, holy shit, that is a massive amount of turrets. Yeah, he's, he's basically safe against trash at this point. So at this point, we'll want to out-macro him and potentially add a few turrets ourselves. See, this map is actually pretty friendly in terms of turrets. Or in terms of in terms of siege tank abuse, because there's this whole ledge here that you can abuse, and I feel like that's good. Okay, so we got this. Two, we got, we got a good medevac count. So right now what we want is this, and also to make some marauders, because marauders are good. This is also one of the reasons why I hate Terran vs. Terran, because it relies a lot on positioning. So whoever basically sets up their siege tank first gets a huge advantage. Okay, so we got that going on. We're gonna have to be producing a lot of units at this point. Or a lot of marines, because we're, we're kind of lacking gas. Just a little bit cocky on this, getting a third orbital as opposed to the safe planetary fortress. Oh shit. Okay, so that drove his army away. Let's see what else he has over here. 
Seems like not much. Wait, are you? Additional supply defense required. I'll see, we'll see. Okay, so he doesn't really have much here, just two guys with guns. I feel like that, that attack there is gonna uh, get himself killed. Or he's just gonna keep, keep him busy at this point. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. That's okay. okay. I feel like I'm killing a lot of stuff right now, and his attention is actually divided, which is good. Um, I got this. Okay, we're still killing a lot of units, that's good. I feel like that, that makes us in a good position because, uh... Lots of units because they're dying. We also managed to take down a barracks. For our troubles. And it seems like we're just dealing a lot of damage. Also forgetting to make depots. Not really a... Oh shit, that's a huge build up of resources. Should probably add some production at this point. Nah, that's not good. Okay, this is going to act as a retard magnet. What exactly does he have here? He has a lot of shit. Does he have this base? That's what I like to know. And it seems like he doesn't. So we got this advantage on him. In terms of expansions. We also got Viking tech, which is great. I feel like it's safe for us to land back here. This is just a completely one-sided battle. I feel like I, have, I might have the upgrade advantage as well. Yes, I have plus one plus one. And this each tank is great. Um, we don't want that. We don't want that. He's still trying to break this, really? Okay, I will take my 4th base at this point, and I feel like we're in a good position. Okay, kill off the medevac, so now we should be able to secure the 4th base rather easily. Oh, uh, we'll get this, we'll get vehicle weapons, and also a second armory, because I like upgrades. I feel like at this point, the only way you can come back in this game is if he has some kind of tech hidden, or some kind of expansion hidden, so I'll check for both. And we'll see what we can do. I feel like the container is working well. Okay, so let's move our marines out again. I feel like that's very important. And let's move our siege tanks out. I feel like right, right at this point, what's missing is army. Tank count is very, very good. So let's start working on those, getting the marines right, right now. Uh, marauders right now not necessary because there's really nothing to Harris. And at this point, I'm just trying to, to starve them out. Still doing a good job with that. He's losing way too much in terms of units trying to break this contain. And I don't exactly blame him. This is a very, very difficult situation to be in. Okay, let's actually see what he has up here. I just brought in more tanks because tanks are great. And it seems like he's kind of getting desperate in terms of units. So that, that's actually really good. I'll switch this to 9. Get the upgrades up. What's happening here? Oh, that's not good. Okay, so this is actually kind of a silly position to be in. We'll start working towards something else, like Starport Tech. Ready for so right now what we have a lot of is minerals, not as much gas, so don't exactly know what to do with that since most other things in the game requires gas. 
Uh, Marine's also good, but I feel like he's turned it up way too much for us to be able to Harris properly. This better be good. Still gotta keep an eye on these. Actually, take a look at this. If he's taken this expansion, then things will be very, very different. Or even this one. Although I can't imagine him taking that one. Okay, let's see what he has. He has Marines, Marauders, with decent upgrades, and a round of turrets. I thought I had Vikings somewhere. I guess they died. Okay, let's actually see what he has here. He's still wasting a lot of resources on scans. And also getting tanks. Where's the emergency? What I'm gonna work towards is actually cattle bruisers, because in late game TV TVT it's actually really important to get these. Add on complete. Eight, eight. And now that we have enough starports, we can actually swap this out. Oh, he's trying to take that expansion now. Okay. Lay it on me. I think repositioning the tanks at this point is a good idea. Unless he scans right now, at which point immediately siege it up. Oh, that's a planetary already. Holy shit. Okay, so he finally managed to break that. Shit. That was unexpected. Okay, so we got a good angle on the medevac, so we should be able to get away with these. So at this point, I would think that taking the... Oh, we already have Marauder Tech, that's great. That's fucking great. Okay, pushing out for him right now, probably not the greatest idea. I think just a pure Marine Army could handle this, since I do have the upgrade advantage. Mineral field depleted. He's probably trying to Harris at this point. I'm trying to go for my expansion. Oh no, yeah, he actually left his whole army over here. Oh shit, oh shit. That's not a that's not a good position to be in. Uh, can we afford this? Yes we can. Okay, what exactly do we have here? We have some tanks. And I feel like the Battlecruiser armor should be good enough to handle this. What does he have? He has a few tanks. Battle cruisers are almost done. So I still think we're in a good position to take this game because we have the tech advantage, we have the upgrade advantage, and everything's just sort of working in our favor right now. Now attacking into that, probably not a great idea, but the battle cruisers are done. And we can have another wave coming if we're not supply blocked. But sadly, we are maxed. So, I don't know. I'll put the battle cruisers on two. This is actually one of the rare opportunities which allows me to get battle cruisers. It seems like he pulled his main army back, so these tanks are dead. And I feel like this is going to be the nail on the coffin. Yeah, I was busy back there. He actually thinks I'm trolling, that's funny. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad because his TBT never got this late before. I have been wrecked by many Battlecruiser builds in TVT because, well, surprise Battlecruiser transition.